Hello everyone. Um, today I'm doing a video on some recent silver pickups I've had. Um, I've purchased from several different companies. Uh, usually I'm either JM Bullion or Provident, but I also tried Modern Coin Mart recently and I had a very good experience with them. Quick shipping, um, good selection. So I'm going to add them to my rotation of purchases as long as they have something that I'm looking for at the right price. Uh, the biggest thing I've picked up recently is one of the smallest as well. It's my first quarter ounce gold piece. It's the, uh, the kangaroo, the 2015 kangaroo, which I think is a better design than the 2016. I like the uh, the moon in the background and the uh, and the texture on the uh, on the ground. And uh, I'm going to end up having to pick up another quarter ounce eagle to match with it, but that's the single most expensive item I have currently. Uh, I'm not a big gold purchaser. It's a little more than I like to spend on any given order, but uh, it's kind of cool to have uh, a gold piece. Um, but also recently I picked up the Elementals, the Elementals, trying to get it right without the N. Uh, this is the uh, their Landmarks Liberty Island issue. It's a two ounce high relief round. And uh, it's got the, the flag, the waving flag in the background with the uh, Statue of Liberty. It's part of their American Landmarks series. This is the second release. The first one was the Grand Canyon. I have a couple of those. Uh, I also picked up from Ella Metals the Cleopatra round, the two ounce high relief round. Uh, I think the Egyptian culture is kind of cool. I watch a lot of history channel as well. Uh, but I like the design. I like the, uh, the hieroglyphics in the background with the, uh, the pyramid and, uh, sorry to say, I don't know what the, uh, the female here with the wings equals in their culture, but all around, I like the design of it, Cleopatra and the eye and all that other good stuff on it. So uh, I'll check out, I think Providence is pretty much the place to go for the Ella Metals releases. I'm not into Zombucks. Um, and I haven't really done the privateers yet, but I'm keeping an eye on stuff. Um, other than that, I bought some, I bought some just generic silver rounds. I got uh, a few of the, uh, the Mercury head one ounce silvers and also the, uh, the Morgan one ounce silvers. I try to, uh, I try to get the, uh, an occasional round to fill in and keep my price per ounce down after spending 40 or so dollars for the, uh, 40 plus actually for the, uh, for the two ounce high relief, I'll buy some generic silver rounds to, uh, to try to even out my price per ounce. Um, also on the raising my price per ounce front is the year of the monkey, the lunar year of the monkey. I have a stack of half ounce, uh, lunars and that's what I was buying for a while. And so I had to get the half ounce monkey, which I've heard people go back and forth on design. It's, it's kind of a cool design. So what the heck it's their choice. So I had to get a half ounce just to uh, to add to that to that stack part, and then I got the one ounce because I prefer the one ounce as long as it's a reasonable, not a an, not an unreasonable price. Uh, so I picked up those, and I also picked up uh, a couple of the the Somali elephant coins, two thousand sixteen. 
Uh, and I like the designs on these also. They have the uh, the trees and the moon in the background, or it could be the sun for all I know. I'm not sure. And the grass. I mean, there's a there's a little work involved here. It's just not uh, throw an elephant on there, you know, uh, update the year and, and sell it for 25 bucks a pop. So that's nice, a different design. Um, and then uh, I'm adding to my horde of 10 ounce bars. I grabbed a, my first sunshine mint 10 ounce. Um, I haven't opened it off the, uh, the pouch here. So it's a little kind of scuffed up on the pouch. But uh, I do like the design of the sunshine on the back. I like this uh, a textured design on the back of the bars. Some of them don't seem to put in that much work into it. And I understand it's just, you know, it's a generic silver bar, private mint and all. But I like the effort they put into it. Um, so that's my first sunshine mint bar. Um, I buy semi-sporadically because I often just have an amount in my head. I am willing to spend and then I'll go try to fit certain items to it. Sometimes I, I say, I'll, I'll say, Oh, if I have $200 to spend, that's a 10 ounce bar and a few rounds or something like that. Sometimes I'm looking for specific items and then I have to fill in depending on if the, if there's a hundred dollar uh, base for free shipping, you know, if I'm going to get uh, a fresh, uh, American landmark, or if I really kind of said, Hey, that's a really cool Cleopatra. I'm probably just looking for one of, of the Cleos, but then I have to fill in with the rest of it to make sure I make that, uh, that hundred dollar mark. If it's a hundred dollar base for free shipping or what have you, or, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just kind of work it around in my head. Other times I'm, I'm thinking, Oh, I've got, I'm, I'm deciding to spend 400 or I'm going to get a tube of kangaroos or a tube of eagles. And, uh, and then you're looking at the, the pieces, not the price. Um, so I think that's the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, is grab a tube. I have a tube of, of kangaroos. I'll probably just grab a tube of eagles. Um, but, uh, or, or I also may grab a tube of Britannia's. The 2016 Britannia's are up for, uh, for pre-sale at, uh, Provident. And currently with the prices down, down, down toward uh, fourteen dollars I think it's like fourteen twenty five or fourteen thirty at the sites and it's about fourteen twenty or twenty five on the on the silverprice.org so uh, uh, this is the time to the time to stock up and uh, and then we'll see how it goes from here I mean it, it, it's down almost two dollars from where it was a month or so ago and so it's a it's a crazy market. I'm just dipping a toe in so far. I'm only into it for six months or so, but uh, it, it seems to go up and down. I guess there's a, a jobs report coming out and uh, that may even uh, drop it a little more. So we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Uh, and I hope you come back the next time I do a video. Have a good day. So I also wanted to mention as a follow-up to a previous video, that uh, on how I I did my whole box search and uh, and I made some dividers in the box. You can see them here. It's uh, blue uh, corrugated plastic, and so I have my stuff divided off in different uh, sections. Um, I also did make a a tray to fit inside the box, and that's where I've got my that's where I put my my bars. And my gold goes right on the top. And also my two ounce rounds, the two ounce, the Cleopatra's and the yellow metals. And, uh, and that's how I, I've decided to kind of put everything where it belongs and keep it in such a way that that kind of it, it fits where I kind of like things to go. I'm not really weird or I'm not really too weird about my stuff, but sometimes I get it in my head and I kind of run with it. And so now silver wise, it's kind of that a place for everything and everything in its place kind of thing.
So that's what I've got so far. And once again, thanks for watching.